Well, one of my dreams is to become an English teacher, actually an ELD teacher, and to help all the students that have suffered as much as I have, and to achieve their dreams of learning English. My objectives for when I graduate from high school are to go to Mount Sac, two years, and then I want to transfer to UCLA so that I can uh, major in Spanish because I want to teach others what I know in regards to a language that to me is my native language. It's not simple. I want people to value the beauty of the Spanish culture. I want the language to continue being heard, not because we come from another country should we forget the importance that the Spanish language has. Well, one special moment that I had at Baldwin Park High School, besides passing the KC, well, was when I found out that there was a community of ELD students at the school. We shared many special moments, we supported each other, we worked extremely hard, we put forth the effort to accomplish our goals, and it was one of the most special moments for me to get to know more people that were Latin just like me. Well, I had that pride, and we had that pride to grow together. For me, one of my proudest woman, moments was when I was a fr freshman year in Baldwin Park High School. When what was my fi finals in the second semester, I had to present in front of my English class, and I I was so nervous. I was like, I I I don't think that I I could I really could, could do it. When when I was standing there, I say everything in English and I was, I was, I was proud of myself because I think that I, I did it right. And another, another moment I had when, when I was choosing to be a pre counselor in Robin Park High School, that was like uh, awesome and to be a pre counselor I'm very proud. One of my proudest moments in Robin Park High School is when I passed the casing and I feel proud because other students that always help live in the United States, they didn't pass the case and I have two years and I already passed the case. Well, my proudest moment in Baldwin Park High School is been taking three AP classes because I noticed that in that classes is no ELD students and it's like I feel proud of myself because I'm have success in the classes, I have good grades, and I can prove to, not, not like prove, but to teach to others that we can, if we want, we can do it and we can be better for ourselves and for the next generations. Well, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation to those teachers who have taken the time to help me, to help us, to do the best we can, to help us succeed in our classes. Um, the message that I leave Baldwin Park High School is that, that they, they think about us, that they please be aware that we come from a different country, we come here scared, we don't know the language, and that we come here and we feel a little bit sheltered and cloistered. We want to get involved in a little bit more in the school community so that we are able to know a little bit more about and express ourselves. My advice is that, that you support us emotionally, not really profoundly, but you, that you be patient with us and get us involved with everything. Well, one message that I can leave the teachers is, to help us students, especially the ELD students, so that so that they don't think that we don't speak the English language, that we're ignorant, or that we can't triumph. To the contrary, we can do it if we believe in it. Help us, help everybody, 
to achieve our goals because it's our dream. We don't come here to waste time. We come here to progress, to progress to higher learning, to learn more. And we can't do it alone. We need your help. Well, the message I want to leave to the teachers of Baldwin Park High School is, well, it's, it's to try to help us, the ELD students, because not all the people that come from Mexico, they don't just come here to cause trouble. Many people do come here to, to succeed. And the only thing that we need is help of the teachers. And I believe with the, with the help of the teachers, if we want to succeed, we can get very far. And to be patient with us and support us because we will be eternally grateful. We have experienced many good moments and bad moments as well that have made us feel real sad. But I want to tell people one thing. If we can dream it, we can do it. And not because we have been humiliated will we stop. We will continue forward in our struggle. Well, one of the messages that I want to say to the teacher is that I'm thankful for being this country, the opportunity that is given to, given to me. But also I want to say to them that is I do my research paper about this topic and I found out that some of the times the teachers put us a barrier that they can't teach a Spanish uh, Spanish hablan people like that they they feel afraid and they can't teach so they can't say so it's like you can do it if you want to we have a lot of English teachers that they want to help so don't put barriers so if we can do it you can do it too.